All right. Well, I made something the other day in the shop, and it is this. It's just a three-jaw chuck call it. I need it for a specialty job for a certain size of stock, and I have to work close up to the chuck. But I, you know, never want to hit your chuck. I mean, this chuck is, I mean, it's 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 a really expensive first, and then it's so old. I'm not going to find another one very easy. So I try to treat this. Um, pretty much like Virgin Mary, like I stay away from it. I do not dust it with my tools. So I make a little collets when I have to work up close to my chuck for certain size jobs, especially if I gotta do a lot of them. So this is it. It's held in there just by spring pressure. It's just a simple aluminum with backstop. Little collet relief right there. So it's squeezing down right here. And you just treat it like an emergency collet. You bore it to fit. Um, about ten thousandths over my job size I need to grab. So these are the parts that have to get bored. There. These just drop right in. And I just chamfer each end to give me a finished part that is this, a nice knurled knob. So we'll go see it in action now. Here we go. All right, so this is a part. All we're doing is chamfering and breaking the edges on it. So we get it slid in our chuck. and it's just enough chuck stays in there under spring tension and then you just flip it around it's like a collet just for a chuck it's just a poor man's mega collet <laughs> So I don't dust off my chuck and damage my truck because that's my investment. It's my machine. Yeah, nice something nice you can grab. It ain't gonna grab you back. So that's it. Have a good night.